Welcome back, everyone, to the Stan Cheros Center. Hawaii going after the 1,107th win for their coach. That would be the all-time record. They lead 18 to 12 in the first set against Santa Clara. Emily Hartung getting ready to serve. Crowd quiets. A ball is dug up by Rotman, and that's hit over by Anders. Trying to respond on the Hawaii side at that time was Nikki Taylor, and she hit it cross court, and she seems to have trouble, as you said, hitting the ball cross court. It wasn't a really great set. Tried to do the yeah, most she could with exactly. it. Exactly, the set was way too wide. Taylor did the best she could. I think we ought to really should have gone to the middle. I think she should keep feet in the middle until they're tired. Rotman serving. Uyato goes outside. And that ball is hit down by Manu Oleval. What a great swing by Manu Oleval. She came running in hard, jumps pretty high, quick arm swing, gets down inside the block, right through the seam there as well. Block late getting out there. 1913, Hawaii. Ball is hit over uh, by Clayton and blocked right back. Again, that time a hitting the ball over was Cameron. Another dig, another dig in the back row. I tell you, Emily Hartung is working overtime. I mean, she is everywhere. She is the ubiquitous one on that Hawaii team. Here's the first dig by Hartung. So she's playing this roving center field back there, back middle. She'll dig a lot of balls, and she likes to hit that ball out of the back row as well, which I think is her most effective attack. Cresto to serve for Santa Clara into the net service error, and that is a point for Hawaii. They get to the plateau, they get to 20, and they have almost a controlling lead, six points. Here's a stat just that just came in. Hartong with 13 of Hawaii's 26 swings. Not good. They're not going to win a national championship that way. Yeah, that's half, half of the swings. Serving again for Hawaii is Mendoza. Ball hit over by Clayton. Hawaii will return it. And Olivao hits it into the net. So it is 20 to 15 in favor of Hawaii in this first set. Hawaii has a little bit of trouble closing out sets. That's what they've got to work on. Let's see if they can do it here. Serving is Milton. Milton with a high toss, gets it in. That ball dug up by Mendoza, hitting the ball over his hard tongue. That'll be returned by Santa Clara. And that ball is hit over by Hess. And Hess gets the point. It's 20 to 16. And Santa Clara would like nothing better than to make a run in this late stage of the first set. Serving is Milton. Hess having a big night, five kills, hitting 333. And doing most of the passing. Serving is Milton, dug up by Longo. That ball hit over by Olivao. That'll be returned, a little touch. Olivao is there. Uyato goes down the middle to Hartung. That is going to be returned. And this time, hitting the ball over his head. Away with another opportunity. Olivao blocked right back at her. She tinker toyed that one. And that ball came right back at her. And it's 20 to 17. This set was pretty good. I thought Olivelle could have taken a swing at it, but she saw two big blockers, 6-2 and 6 feet, right in front of her. Maybe she thought the best thing to do was to tip it, but she didn't tip it high enough. Remember that six-point lead? It's been cut in half. 17, serving 20. Milton serving again left-handed. Dug up by Mendoza. Hit over by Hartong. When in doubt, Emily. Emily again out of the back row. Straight down the middle. And it's 21 to 17. Serving is Manu Olebao. In the air by Ratman. The ball pushed over that time by Cameron. That's hit over on a nice slide again by Adolfo. Nikki Hess got fooled there, slipped on it when she turned to go block. See right there, she slipped and and fell, which gave uh, Adolfo a clear court. Great dig by Mendoza to start off that rally. 22-17.
Manuel Ivao serving into the net. Service error. And it's 22 to 18. Dave Shoji now made that double sub where he brings in Taylor Higgins to uh, to be to do the setting. Kayla Goodman up front to make the block a little bit bigger up front for Uyato. Serving is Clayton. Diving dig by Longo. Quick set that time by Higgins. And that ball is hit down by Adolfo. And it's 23 to 18. Taylor Higgins unafraid to go to Adolfo in the middle, going to the middle right away. Serving as Kawamura back in for a second uh, stent. Ball comes over. That's from her knees is Olival. Kawamura. Ball hit over and then uh, Rotman is there to dig it up for Ken, uh, Santa Clara. They go again to Emily Hartong. Santa Clara right there. That ball is blocked back. Good double block. Goodman and Borster. Another block. And still relentless at the net was Santa Clara. And getting the ball down was Cameron. Got to credit the Santa Clara team for being feisty, as you said earlier in the broadcast. You said they're pesky, a lot like University of San Diego, a little unorthodox. They got all those youngsters out there. Three freshmen stole jobs from upperclassmen during their preseason camp. Serving is Anderson. Down the middle, the ball hit over by Olivao, saved by Milton. Anderson again. Anderson goes to Hess, and she rifles it off the elbow of Emily Hartong. 23-20. Timeout has been called by Hawaii. Again, having trouble closing it out. Let's take a look at Burger, Burger King inside the numbers. Look at Hawaii. They're hitting plus 112 difference over their opponents this season. They're only .008 tonight against Santa Clara. So Hawaii's offense not as efficient as usual. 20 serving 23, Santa Clara serving. This is Anderson. Joust at the net, saved by Borster. Santa Clara setting it up. Outside it goes. Good dig that time by Olival. Santa Clara again, back set. That ball hit over by Anderson down. That went right by Borster. 23-21. Santa Clara has their eye on the prize. Megan Anderson is Megan Anders is John Wallace's Nikki Taylor. She's a 6'4 freshman who's big and good. And that is an ace. Hawaii oh, watched it all the way. Manu Olivao decided to let it go, and it was inside the line. It's 23 to 22. We talked earlier about how how effective. Santa Clara serving is they got twice as many aces on the air as Hawaii does so they get back and I, I think if you're going to beat Hawaii you got to step back you got to rip it you got to step way back serve it floater punch it make the ball move in these air currents here in the Stan Sheriff Center and uh, it certainly worked at that time it's worked one other time they got two aces on Hawaii Let's take a look at the serve you can't see how much it moves but trust me this ball is moving a lot and it looks like it's going to go out and at the last second it drops right there. Almost like a lead balloon. Hawaii led by six. They saw the light at the end of the tunnel. That light has blinked on and off. Well, now it's been... And now it's Santa Clara with the possibility to reach out and steal this first set. And here's one thing that concerns me about Santa Clara. They were denied by UCLA the other night. In a, in a close game, a 25-25 game, they lost 27-25. But they were battling and had a chance to win that set. They had a swing for the set and did not make it happen. Maybe they remembered that and they learned from that. And we'll see if they can correct what they did wrong against UCLA and do it against Hawaii. Let's go to Ryan. Hey, thanks, guys. Well, during that timeout, Santa Clara talking to their team, especially about trying to block the pipe. They want to slow Hawaii down. On Hawaii sideline, Dave Shoji imploring to his hitters that they're hitting right into the block. He's trying to get them to hit more seam. We'll see if Hawaii makes the adjustments coming out of this timeout. Back to you guys. So 22 will serve 23. It is Anderson serving for Santa Clara.
This is a big set. Gets it in, dug up by Mendoza, chased down by Uyato. The ball is hit over by Taylor. That's off the block and in. Credit Santa Clara for a tough serve after the timeout. Mendoza struggled with it on her first pass, but Hartong saved the day after a running, running Uyato set. So that, it was not Taylor. Uh, that uh, was Emily Hartong. So Hartong will now serve. 24, right, excuse me, 24, 22, and we auto serving. That ball hit over and down by Hess. It's 24, 23. Hawaii still has a set point in front of them. Hess serves. Back up by Longo. That ball hit down. Again by Emily Hartung. How many times? How many variations? She wins the first set almost single handedly. I hate to say that, but that's what it appeared to be. Hawaii survives 25 23. More to come. OC Sports, presented on Oceanic Time Order Cable, is sponsored by Bank of Hawaii and Kaiser Permanente. Let's take a look at some highlights. Vicki Hess for Santa Clara. What a match she has had thus far. Look how she hits the seam there. Hawaii block just could never close there. She taps one down on the block. She's getting done from everywhere. And then she goes cross court again. Catches Hartong off guard. There it goes. She goes down the line. And here's Hartong, who started off the match, by the way, with three straight errors. Then she starts hitting down the back row and finds her rhythm and eventually gets nine kills, including, there's a great dig by her as well. She gets nine kills, including the set point. Once again, another tap down. She's just so quick. She jumps so quick from there. She's a little step up move. That was the one for set point. That was the thing of beauty. She hit the ball to the right side. All night long, she's been hitting pipe out of the back and left side, but there she showed her versatility and her old middle attacker days when she used to run that run out. She was busy. Nine kills in 20 attempts. The rest of the team, nine kills in 19 attempts. There's got to be more diversity. We've talked about this time and again. Emily needs more help from more people. So hopefully, Mita Uyato will spread it around a little more, but she knows she needs a little bit better passing in order to be able to do that. The passing wasn't great because Santa Clara's serving was so good, so it's all kind of connected to each other. But it all starts with the pass, and then Mita can do her thing. So we begin the second set. Boy, you leading in this match. One set to none. Boy, but credit. that first set was very competitive. It really was. Credit John Wallace and his staff for getting his team ready and prepared to play this big match. They were blocking well, digging well, serving well. Uyato serves and serves it long. So Santa Clara trying to make a quick start here in this second set to play catch up and even this match. Serving will be Hess, Nikki Hess out of Scottsdale, Arizona. 